Howdy, kids. I look forward to seeing everyone. I regret most of my roast of the class of 2002 from 10 years ago. So instead, I figured I'd turn the tables on none other than yours truly. Who can forget CNU superlatives? Clearly I can't. I would like to thank everyone who voted for me in the category of most unique wardrobe. What did it? The military fatigue pants with the white tuxedo shirt and red bow tie? Or the plaid pants and the oversized shirt with the baby from dinosaurs saying, I'm the baby, gotta love me. When it comes to being voted most artistic, several of you asked if juggling is an art. I said yes, but the art wasn't in the juggling. It was my elaborate bit of performance art annoying people, getting in the way, and performing halftime shows for JV basketball games to fusion jazz music no one wanted to hear. Thirdly, being voted most musically talented, beyond what I did musically at school, also remember that I spent my summer scraping spoons over a vest of corrugated stainless steel called a washboard. Anyone can do that. When I did my roast of the class of 2002, back in 2012, I, for whatever reason, arrogantly listed all the places I've been, the places I've played music, and the bands that we've played with. Instead, I'll start today by recounting a few of the losing interactions I've had with celebrities. I once lost to Christina Applegate in a drinking game of fingers. It was down to just the two of us. She had one finger left, and I had two. It was her turn to guess. She promptly eliminated me by guessing, I've never designed a website, and I've never been in a band. She read me like a book. I helped cater Jamie Foxx's daughter's Sweet 16 party. I carried around plates of Kobe beef sliders and fudge. Jamie grabbed a cube of fudge from me. I felt we had a connection. Later, while performing with LMFAO, he jumped off the stage and ran through the crowd and headed straight for me. He placed his hand on my shoulder and asked me to unlock the side stage door to get some airflow because it was, quote, hot as fuck on stage. I still can't explain why I'm not Jamie Foxx's best friend. My former band, Run Run Run, was, for a while, mentored by Steve Perry. He came to our rehearsal studio often, and while working on vocal parts, came up beside my microphone to sing the note I was, and then said, we don't need that note. He was right. Culture has changed a lot in the last 10 years. I believe in reasonable dialogue about the First and Second Amendments, which is why I shoot my mouth off roasting myself like this, and no one gets hurt. Thanks all for listening. Happy 20th. I love you all. In closing, when I graduated high school, I weighed about 100 pounds. I had a lot to learn and discover about myself. Since then, I've become twice the man I used to be.